the Divas. This is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket for all things creative and crafty with a little bit of inspiration mixed in. I have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek for you. This will be out tomorrow, Saturday, and um, it will be noon, I believe, noon uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is, I believe, 9 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast. So I can't wait to show you this one. This is called So Happy We Have Each Other and it is a family of otters. <laughs> Don't tell my daughter she loves otters. I cannot wait to show this to you. It is by Jody Bergsma and I love her nature art. So let's take a peek at this. It is a round diamond painting. It is 20 by 27 inches or 50.7 by 69. Zero centimeters, so it's a nice size, a nice medium size. And where is a little sticker? Come on, here it comes. Okay, <clears throat> Let me show you the little sticker that comes in it. So happy we have each other by Jody Bergsma. I'm hoping in this light you can see this real well, but I know when you when I pull out the canvas that you will be able to. So let's get on with that. Let's get on with that. The toolkit is one of the best ones out there. Let's see. You will get in each toolkit, you will get a random colored pen and squishy to help ease your um, hand fatigue. You will get a four placer and a seven multi placer that goes on the end of your pen. You get a white boat with uh, a little stopper that pulls out on the end so that when you shake them around they don't all uh, come out. I love how raised these ridges are that they like to line up really well in there the drills you get two heart two hearts of wax in the little container that keeps it from drying out you get a bag of extra baggies to help you kit up or down you also get some specials this is the cutie poo little um little cover minder that comes in this one a little kitty cat with the flower and basically when you can pull your uh, plastic back when you're working on a section put the one magnet underneath now I like to use a lot bigger magnet on the back but put this on the top and it's strong enough to hold back your plastic while you're doing that section you also get a random washi tape now this washi tape happens to be the red one and um, I'll show you how to use this and when I open up the canvas, which we will do right now. Okay, let me roll it the other way around. Oh, how cute! I love the colors. Oh my gosh, the faces. Oh, the little faces. Ah, oh, the little faces are so sweet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. <laughs> On every Diamond Art Club canvas you will see at the bottom, you will see the thumbnail. You will have the information about the, the, um, the inventory numbers, the title, the licensed artist, and on information, you will have a take 10 code for 10% off of your next purchase from Diamond Art Club and the warranties and their social media. You will have both on the bottom right and the top left, you will have a index of symbols very plainly, um, very plainly done. And if I can show you the canvas here, you. All right, I'm going to wing you in a little bit so you can see the symbols on the canvas, how well they are done. You can usually see very well 
there you go. The different symbols differentiated from each other, so they're very clearly marked as to what colors, what symbols go where. Okay, easy to read, easy to read. A nice sparkly canvas backgrounds. I know, you can't wait to see the whole thing. I'm going to show you the bottom first, which I have been showing you. The stones in the river. Okay, and as you come up, you see a fish. You see fish in the river here, and some plants, and the roots coming down in here. And what, what are these little smiley faces? Let's look at these. Oh my gosh, in the grass in this river, look what we have. We have a mom and dad. We have parent otters and three little baby faces poking out. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. We have a family of river otters. Oh, this is so sweet. So sweet. If you have a nature lover in your family that you want to give a gift for Mother's Day or uh, another family gift, if you've got somebody who loves otters, this is so perfect, so perfect. It's got the, the brownish grasses, it's got the greens on the sides, and they're just, oh, it's just so adorable, so adorable. Now I can't wait to show you the drills. <laughs> so sparkly. Oh, I see a special drill in here. Oh. All right, so along with the drills you get your thank you for your purchase from Angie the owner you get tips and tricks and how to diamond paint instructions and another discount code in there and then you get this giant sticker that is the same as the first one only this has uh, a place where you can say started and finished date on here and it has individually little uh, stickers that you can use when you kit up either in bags or little plastic containers however you like to separate your drills and use them this gives you the sequence number it gives you the symbol code and the DMC color code on here so that in case you save your drills at some point um, or in case you run out of them if you do run out of drills uh, for any reason or there's something wrong with the canvas contact support at diamondartclub.com and they will uh, do their best to rectify that for you uh -huh. so don't you know don't panic if something is wrong with the actual canvas or if anything is wrong with the drills or you run out of them don't panic just give them a call uh, give them an email and they will be glad to rectify that for you <laughs> each of the drill packs come with the inventory number and the title on there so that you can um, easily put them together again if you separate the canvas from the drills at some time also if you notice there are two numbers on here that are above the number 150 those are the aurora borealis the ab drills i'll show them to you as we get to them and at the bottom, you have two different codes here. There's an L code and a Z code down here that um, are the special drills. So there's special drills in here, guys. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I found them. Found the two special drills. Let me look for the Aurora Borealis drills. I found one. Let me find the other one so that we can figure out where they go on the canvas. Let me just check for the other one real quick like and it should be what should it be it should be a uh, a lighter a lighter tan or a darker tan let's see this one is 106 so this is the darker tan the 117 I think Diamond Art Club does a fantastic job uh, rendering where to put their special um, their special drills to give you the maximum punch um, to draw the attention to the right places in the canvas. Now let me 
bring you in close enough so you can see the colors that I'm going to show you. Okay. There we go. They're, because they're animals, there's going to be a lot of browns and natural colors. Browns, blacks, tans. And I love the color that they're using. They're pairing them with teal. Brown and teal go so well together. Brown, teal, gray, green. There we go. Dark green. The olive colors. Mm -hmm. That's one set. Let's go. Be smaller amounts here. More teals. I am trying to get rid of the extra shine from the upper lighting. I when I get a new when I get a studio, I will be able to work that out so that the glare doesn't show us a problem anymore. We are working on that as well. You notice the little pinhole in this one? That is supposed to help with getting rid of some of the dryness, some of the static that sometimes gets into the drills. Uh, over the winter when you have dry heat, you will have static in the drills. It just is the natural way of things. They are uh, resin in plastic. They are going to um, they're going to get staticky. And there are a number of ways to help get rid of that static, including using a dryer sheet in the plastic container that you are going to put them into to get up the little bags. You can cut them dryer sheets into little pieces and put them in the little plastic bags with them if you'd like. I often do that and I wipe down the plastic tray that I'm using to spill the drills into to use them. I wipe down that tray with a dryer sheet as well. That is very helpful to get rid of the static. It's just it's just a fact of life using it. Now these are all resin drills. They are Diamond Art Club has their own factory to make their drills. So there's a lot less. Um, less junk, less bad drills in here than there was in the past. I can't guarantee that all the older kits, if you get one of the older kits, um, that the drills will be the new ones. They'll probably be the older drills as well, but in these newer kits that you see on the sneak peeks and the first looks, They will be the new drills. Now I'm going to show you the two Aurora Borealis drills. Now you see the special shine, the special shiny coating on them. It just gives a shine that the other drills don't have. It reflects the light in a different way. You can see it better on the back of these. That's the other number, the 117. Do I have it upside down? I do. There we go. Now, to show you the two special drills, I mean, honestly, this, I believe, is one of the glitter drills. <clears throat> I did order some glitter drills from Tima. Her link will be down below with the discount code for... Um, through 2023 for a percent off if you use my code. Um, if you order glitter drills from Tima, that's down there, as well as my Diamond Art Club affiliate link in the below. I'm below for 15% off your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Glitter drills are different in that they, um, where the Aurora Borealis drill has a coating over the complete top of it. Glitter has little pieces of mica 
um, that are adhered to the top of the drill. And it's got a different kind of shine to it. Um, it reflects light in a shiny way rather than a uh, like a rainbow way. It doesn't change the color of the drill at that time. Now, the real special one. Get a load of these shiners. Gold. Gold shiny drills. Absolutely. The metal. This is so much fun. Where are they going to go on this beautiful canvas? Let me put away the rest of the drills first. And I like to do that. Um, by putting the, the big page in the bag, in the drill bag. So I immediately have a picture of the kit that the drills go with. Because I don't always store them together with the canvas. Put it back here now. So here I have it all put together. Okay, well, Diamond Art Club gave themselves a challenge with this because it's in in the water, um, underneath in the water. So how are they going to um, how are they going to bring up the uh, uh, the shininess of the water in the bottom while outlining the particular features of the otters? The first two are numbers one and two. So let's find where the first Aurora Borealis drills go. The light and the and the taupe. The ivory and the taupe. I see number ones up here above the head of the otters and in the otters' cheeks in their fur. I see number ones. Number twos are also in their fur. In here, in their little cheeks, in their noses. In their paws, I see that, the ones and twos. There's some twos in the log here, the darker one. Let's see if there are any down in the water. Let's see. There are some ones in the water across this line, right above where the fish are in there. Uh, I see some number ones in the rocks down below. And I don't see any twos down here that I can see. But they're mostly the ones. There's some ones also in the fish themselves and in the bubbles. In the fishy bubbles. <laughs> okay. So where do the glitter drills go? Where do the glitter drills go? That's the letter J. Let's see. Are there any letter J's down here in the blue? It's the teal. That's the glitter drills. Any down here? Hmm, let me see. Yes, in the water. Yes, I see some in the water over on this side. Am I showing you that right? Over here in the water on this side, above the fish. And do I see it on top here? Um... Where are the rest of the glitter drills here? Huh, okay, I see some in the in the reeds, and uh, again, there's a bunch of them in the water, around the log here, and uh, around the, the cattails on the side here. Beautiful, so, so far you have uh, the, the ABs, the, the flashy colors coming up, reflecting the otter's fur. You have the glitter drills reflecting light off of the water, in the water, um, and down by the fish. And then where are we going to put these precious gold ones? They are the upward V. Uh, in the eyes. They're going to go in the otter's eyes. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Where else would these little V's go? The upside down V's. Uh, let's see. There's some in the reeds and the cattails up on this top here. Are there any down in the water below? Let's see. 
are there any down in the water below? Oh, in the rocks down here there are? Absolutely. And do we have any in the fish? I don't see any V in the fish. Well, you know, it brings the glitter down to the bottom here and it brings it up to the cattails. It brings it up to the cattails, right along the edges of the cattails, in amongst them, on both sides. So, it does give you a circular view of the canvas. Um, it brings your eye to the bottom, right through the center where the focal point is, and it, it frames the focal point as well. So, I love the way Diamond Art uh, Club renders their special drills and brings your eye all around the canvas in a very artistic way. I did promise I would show you what to do with the washi tape. One way is to divide up your canvas. If you're going to do a section at a time, you put the washi tape down on top of the plastic and just make a cut. Um, it shows you where the edges of you know the cuts that you've made in the canvas. You can cut right on this. Uh, another thing to do with it is I like to use it to when I pull down the edge of the canvas before I start working I like to line this up against the edge of the picture because there's a little tiny bit of glue that is out over the edge here. Do you, want, do you want me to pull you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing? Yeah. Some of you have seen this before, but I don't want you to miss it. <laughs> okay, I line it up right on the edge because the glue sometimes sticks out over the edge and you don't want that to gunk up with hair and, and that kind of thing. Um, plus it gives you a nice straight line to butt the edges of the drill up against so you start on both sides with a nice straight edge. Another um, way to use these is when I kit up into the little plastic containers. Sometimes these the stickers that come with the kit, they stick down really tight. Um, and it's hard to dig your fingernail underneath them to pry them off when you're all finished. Um, and if you put the washi tape down first and then you put those stickers on top of the washi tape it's very very easy to peel off of your your plastic containers that you kit up in so this is we are so happy together right so happy we have each other I'm sorry the name is so happy we have each other by Jody Bergsma an adorable otter family from Diamond Art Club. Again, it will be on sale tomorrow. The link is down below um, to reach the Diamond Art Club um, website. And there is, again, if this is your very first order from Diamond Art Club, feel free to use the 15% off button down below and enjoy this beautiful kit. This is so much fun. I can't wait to make it for my daughter. These little faces are going to be so adorable to work on. Such a pleasure. Oh, man. All right. Well, I hope you can join us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the little bell if you want to be notified of more Diamond Art Club sneak peeks to come, as well as things uh, from uh, the planner community, planning out your your days or junk journaling or um, scrapbooking, uh, lots of other uh, items, using up your spare drills, all kinds of things, and even Tuesday Night Live when the work basket community gets work basket community gets together and has fun together Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the fun. All right, I hope to see you soon, divas. Bye.